Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Edwin coming back at you with another local comic shop pickup. This is number four, and as I say every week, uh, hopefully a long tradition of me uploading videos of you know my local comic shop pickups. Um, this week wasn't really big week, but I did pick up some Marvel books, I did pick up some DC books, and I did get one independent book that I traded for with a buddy of mine. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start off with that independent book this week. I traded for a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 25 uh, Black Ranger variant. Uh, I showed you in my poly bag opening that I got a Red Ranger and a Pink Ranger. So I'm on the lookout for the other Rangers if I can find them at a decent price. So this one, a friend of mine bought a, a poly bag. He opened it up, he got the Black Ranger. He's not a Power Rangers fan, he just kind of wanted to open one up and he told me, asked me if I wanted to trade. I said, sure, what was he looking for? And he wanted me to pick up uh, a new book that was coming out this week. He couldn't make it out to the comic shop. So I said, sure thing. So, you know, instead of paying the 15 to $20 that I've seen this go on eBay, I got it for $3.99. So there you go, Black Ranger variant, Power Rangers 25. Uh, moving on. Moving on into the Marvel Marvel books, I got the Avengers No Surrender, number 15. Uh, this is Avengers 689, part 15 of the story. Uh, got the regular, got the regular A cover on this one. I'm definitely, I'm digging these. I'm digging this story. It, it's really good story. How. Um, these these gods they're using earth as a playing field um this is part 15 there is going to be a part 16 next week but part 15 is really the the battle the the huge battle that you know it, it culminates this whole story part 16 for next week i believe is just going to be kind of wrapping things up seeing who's going to be new on the on the new uh, avengers team and then they're starting the Starting the numbering back, as you see, this is 689. Next week will be 690, and I think they're going back to Avengers number one. So I hate when Avengers does it. I hate when Marvel does that. They go back to number one. They'll do about 30 books, and they'll shoot back up to this legacy numbering. Then they'll go back to number one. I I, I dislike it, but they're gonna get my money. So there you go, the Avengers 689. Next books I got, I got this uh, Amazing Spider-Man 799, part three of the Go Down Swinging. This is the A cover. Uh, this is an Alex Ross, Alex Ross cover. It's got the Red Goblin on the, it got Red Goblin right there, front and center. Uh, this is semi, uh, semi key, because this is the first appearance of uh, Norman Osborn's grandson as a Red Goblin. So, on top of getting this $7.99 regular cover, I also picked up $7.99, the variant cover. Uh, this is the Ramos, the Ramos variant. Um, digging it, I like, I, I kind of like with the Red Goblin with the fire coming out of his mouth. So like I said, this is the first appearance of Normie Osborne, the grandson of Norman Osborne as a Red Goblin. So. Tuesday night when word got out that that was happening in this book that first appearance of that kid the actual first appearance of that kid Just I'm not gonna say shot through the roof. It's not a hundred dollar book, but it went from being a five dollar book to a 25 to 45 dollar book So what I did when I went to my local comic shop I went looking around to see if they had it and sure enough they had two copies Two copies of it. Amazing Spider-Man 263. This is the first appearance of Normie Osborn. Um, as you can see at my local comic shop, I paid $4 for it. And it's gone up in value. Uh, eBay sales, I've seen $25, $35, $40 for this book. So if you can get out to your local comic shop, guys, maybe they're not... You know, they're not hip to going online and looking up what other people are paying or buying. See if you can find Amazing Spider-Man 263. This is the first appearance of Normie Osborne. 
So that's all I got for Marvel. We'll move on to DC. First book in DC. We got Batman and uh, Batman Turtles. Sorry about that light. There you go, Batman. Batman Turtles number two. Uh, Batman Turtles volume two. It's number six of six. Uh, this has this is the last issue, you know, of this six part series. I love this Eastman the Eastman covers with all of the Batman books, the Batman Turtles books. I've I've gotten all the Eastman variants. I just dig the way he he draws the characters. I love how he draws Batman. So uh, the story's been okay, not as good as Volume One. Next book I picked up, Super Sons uh, number fifteen. Picked up the variant. Uh, I told you with the last Super Sons that I picked up, I I just love I love these this artist uh, Dustin Wynn. Uh, I dig I dig the eighty year. You know, that this 80-year variance that they're doing with Superman. Uh, definitely wanted to have this. As long as this uh, Dustin Wynn is drawing these... It looks like a watercolor. You know, the Super Sun watercolor. He's done probably the last six issues or so. I'll keep buying them. Uh, next book I picked up from DC was this Batman uh, Sins of the Father. This is number three. It's, it's a pretty cool cover. You got Batman... You know, Batman here in the background and DC's version of Spider-Man. They call him Black Spider. Honestly, I think his first appearance was in the last was in the last Batman Sins of the Father. So this story comes from the Telltale video game that came out for PlayStation 4 and I believe Xbox One. Uh, it's, it's like a comic book video game. You make decisions in the game. Anyway, so that was a six-part game. And now this comic series, I think it's going to be six or seven issues this is a, a bridge between the first game and the second game uh pretty good it's it's like an else world it's a different universe for batman i'm digging it i, li I like this i like these books i like the story uh next one i got this is probably my favorite cover of all of them uh this is batman 45 and this is the jim lee jim lee variant Oh, it's got the the 80 year, you know, the the Superman variant symbol down there. Uh, this is classic, classic Jim Lee. This one hasn't sold out as fast as the A cover, which surprises me because I'm gonna tell you what, in ten, I feel like in ten years, this is gonna be a book that people are looking for. Uh, it's happened before with Jim Lee and Batman covers, and this is definitely another one. I I love it. I, I definitely dig. I don't dig the story so much, so I'm not going to get into it. I read it. I read it today. Uh, it's got Booster Gold in there, which I'm not a fan of, but I love this. Uh, I love that cover. And then the last book. And this week, the 1,000th issue of Action Comics came out. And it came out with about 1,000 variant covers. Uh, there were 10 DC variant covers. And then there was probably like, I'm telling you, probably 30 store variants. So I told, and, and this is an $8 book. So I told myself, I'm not getting all these variants. That's, it's not happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the covers that I like, and I'm going to pick the best one for me. I love this old school, com this old school look in action comics. So they had 10, they had 10 DC covers and... Each one was a different, uh, almost each one was a different uh, decade for Superman, right? So the, the first, the A cover is just a Jim Lee regular variant, had Superman on the cover. And then you had the 1920s, the 30s, the 40s. This is the 1940s variant. Um, so this is around that, you know, this is definitely the era of World War II. You got the soldiers down here. Uh, it says, smash the access, buy war bonds and stamps. So I dig this. It's still open because this, out of all the books that I got, this is the one that I haven't read yet. I haven't had a chance to. I'm probably going to read it after I make this video. Um, so anyways, guys, that's that's been a, the fourth edition of Local Comic Shop Pickups with Edwin. Uh, thank you for watching. You know, hit subscribe. I'm trying to get my videos out there. I want to make more videos. I have some CGC books 
coming here soon, so I'm definitely going to make a video of that. Uh, I've got a trade down uh, in the works right now for some of my older, uh, some of my older video games. Guy's got some key, like holy grail key books that he's willing to trade for some of my older games, older my older retro games. So uh, definitely hit subscribe. I'm going to be putting out videos, you know, weekly, probably maybe two videos a week. Hit like on this on this video and, you know, throw me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you picked up this week. Uh, tell me what you've been hearing. Tell me what you think is going to be hot coming out. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And take it easy. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.